Well, hello guys, welcome back. I wasn't going to make a video for you today. Today is my day off. I have to take sanity break each week. But I wanted to show you, Inari has a sense of humor. My kitsune udon came in about a week late. And well, it's like taken him like a month and like five, six days, something like that. And so I, ru I rushed and wrote to the seller and said, please, if you haven't sent the replacement, please don't send it. And the fox and the jewel about Inari came in. So Inari's book came in and Inari's soup came in because I said, you know, would you like this for breakfast? I, did, I didn't mind. I figured I would try it. And she's a little bit sarcastic, like Loki. She goes, I don't know. You're not Japanese. You might die if you try to eat Japanese for breakfast. <laughs> so we had this and we had the leftover uh, matcha from last night. So we had a good breakfast, but yeah. These are so good. If you get these, they're they're kind of we would consider them expensive. It's like whatever you pay for like six bowls. But you know, it just takes five minutes and you get the fried tofu packet, you get the noodles and the wonderful sauce, and there's like little bits of fish in there too, like the little fish cakes that they make in some areas of the pretty swirls and everything in them. There were like two or three little fish pieces in here. And um the Inari Zushi is supposed to be like the favorite dish of either Inari or foxes, depending on who you ask. So that came in, and that would be kind of like an offering you could give. In fact, if you watch the commercials, all the commercials for this on YouTube, um, it's all a fox lady, a little kitsune, that shows up every time you're eating this. And if you eat one of their other soups, she shows up and she cries about betrayal. <laughs> so it's cute. And they have like a Christmas commercial and everything, and she's always... Always after this this bowl of uh, kitsune or after the person eating it. And she's being real cute and adorable. So, um, that came and the Inari book came. And I, I like, found this dirt cheap because this is, like, a really expensive book. And I found it dirt cheap. And I thought, oh, I'll never get it. But it came in. So, I hope you guys like that. We're actually making coffee now. We watched, like some Japanese commercials. I was going to then put a second order into this seller, but then I realized it's a, it is the same exact seller that sold me the other soup, which has not arrived. Which, if they're the same exact seller, I don't know why they didn't just put everything in one, you know, one package. Even if they have duff, different storefronts, it was coming to the same place. So... Hopefully, I canceled him sending another order out, and hopefully we get through to each other because it takes a delay because they're like eight hours ahead of us or something like that. It's like so many hours, like at min midnight, I think tonight will be like the live stream for um Toby Eats and it's like just the beginning of the morning for them. So yeah, it's it's frustrating because I was giving them bad reviews initially because I I would write, and then I'd have to wait at least a day or a couple of days to get a uh, response because we're either hitting their weekend and they take their weekend off, and we're hitting their um, holidays and stuff like that. And I don't know. I don't know what Japanese holidays are coming up. I only know vaguely the ones for Inari. So like I'm like, there's no Inari holiday. What holiday could possibly matter? <laughs> So, yeah, um, it's been frustrating, and it took a very long time to get here, because they tell you, like, 10 to 14 days, then they tell you two weeks, it took over a month to get here, and I'm like, well, I'm really glad I didn't order anything, like, I wanted to order chocolate and that, too, I'm really good at, glad I didn't order that, and when I saw that they're the same exact seller, because when I was looking through their storefront to put an order together, the stuff that the other seller sold me popped up as having been purchased. And I'm like, yeah, it's the same exact seller. Oh, geez, why do these people do this, have like three or four different storefronts? It doesn't make sense, because I would imagine you'd have to pay for... I don't know how Amazon works, but I imagine you would have to pay for three or four different storefronts. And why do it? But it seems to be the style for some sellers. They have three or four different storefronts. I don't know. So, if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe. We already had this. It's very, very delicious. I actually rinsed out the bowl because, you know, it has kitsune on it. And I, you know, 
might use that too, like uh, as a planter if I buy some plants this year. And I don't know. We'll do that. And we're going to get into the Fox and the Jewel some point today. And I'm really glad that came in. So yeah, and the um, apparently the writer, somebody met her and she refers to herself as a Fox woman. So that's pretty cool. So I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.